Got a piece of mail in the mail. The mail in the mail. And I thought I'd make a little video showing some of the mail I get. Um, so, yeah. Um, by the way, a snack accident is when you eat all the bacon by mistake, all right? That is a snack accident. Um, all right, so I got a piece of mail today, and I'm not going to say who it's from. Uh, here it is. Please do not bend. And it says on the back, it says, um, do not bend, fragile, X's and O's and hearts, and please do not bend. So it's, um, it's thick, it's got something inside it. So I'm going to, um, I usually get a pair of scissors. Let's go get some scissors and do this right. Hold on a second. What's it? Yeah, let's do it right. All right, so here we go. We're going to go empty Zima here. La la we will put that in my recycling. Sorry, I should have, um, I should have had my everything ready to go. Sorry, I'm taking your time, your precious time. All right, so what I do is when I open an envelope, I take, um, let me unplug that. When I open an envelope, I like to take the end of it and I take the end of it and open it with a pair of scissors diligently. And there it is. I slide off the end of it, and I know, right? I, I do. I do things crazy. You know, I think we all have our own crazy way of doing things. Um, you know, some people might do something crazier than others, but here we go, ladies. We're gonna open this little drinky poo up. Um, you know, you can't swear on YouTube, by the way, if I want to upload this and show you guys some of the crazy mail I get, I, uh, you can't swear on YouTube because none of the ads, they won't accept you for the ads because they think that you're, you've got a vulgar mouth and why, you know, why would they want to be promoting, um, putting ads on something that's, that's vulgar. So I'm going to try to keep it unvulgar as we open my mail. Okay, here we go. Ugh, my back. It's gonna rain. I'm old. Check out my cat. You wanna, oh, you can't see my cat. Well, I'll go like, look at his little paws. Do you, there they are. Where are you? Can you see him? There's his little, where are you? Where are your little paw? Look at his little paw. You can't really see, but he's got them all cute. Okay, hi. I wish I could turn this camera around, but I can't. That's three minutes of your life that I've already wasted. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get this nice, cold... Ooh, look at that, ladies. La, 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 la. Cheers, whoever's out there. Nice cold Zima. Yeah. I, um, I've tried the Zima with the Jolly Ranchers, and I just want to say, holy heartburn. I can't do that, so. Um, all right, so I'm going to open this mail. And what you're going to see is, 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 just like I do, you're going to see there's something in it. So we're going to open this up, and uh, you're going to see. So it says, snow much fun for someone special. Snow. And on it, oh, look, wait a minute. And on the front, oh, that's cute. Hold on. I'll be here all day playing with it. Look, oh, I'm going to put this behind me. I'm going to, um, I've been, uh, people have been sending me cards from everywhere, cards, packages, all kinds of things. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to trust people with my address, but I'm still a little, um, I'm a little, um, afraid. If you've watched C. Marie's video, she made a video yesterday and, and it, and it, it basically it's, it, she describes somebody that she thought she could trust and they turned out to be crazy. So, you know, m for the most part, everybody out there is cool and decent, but there's one, you know, there's always somebody that out there that's not so, so, this is cute, but you obviously have to keep it like that if you're gonna send it to the cut. So, I'm gonna open my card, and 
Oh, it's uh, awesome. It's actually something cool, and I can't believe they did not break in the mail. Uh, okay, it says, Chris, hey, loves, thank you so very much for my snowflake pearl cage necklace with extra pearls. I absolutely love, love, love it. I could never stay upset with you, and I am, I am very thankful for having met you. It was all a misunderstanding and continued on that cover. Uh, I'm happy to still have you as part of my life. Moi, I get moi is when they kiss you, right? XOXO, I'm not going to say the person's name. I'm going to cross her out. But it's very nice. And yes, you can't see the name. There's my moi. So, um, so, and it says, P.S. I found these starfish and dried them out myself. Hope they made it in one piece and you like. Check this out. Who would pay $5 for a fucking card? That's insane. So, this is what I got and I'm amazed that these made it. These came from Maine. My friend lives in Maine, and I'm gonna try to take them out of the uh, out of where it's. At. I can't believe that these did not get smashed. I was worried about the pearl cages getting smashed because the machines basically squish your mail, and I I am amazed that these starfish made it. Look, they're all intact. Not one of them is broken, and we're gonna take them out of here. There's got to be a way I can stick them on a... I think I want to make some shelves. One of them is going to be behind my bed, but you're not going to really see it. And I want to make some shelves to put things on that people give me, whether it's if they stock me up with Vegemite or Tim Tams or um, all kinds of stuff people have sent me. I've got a clock to put up. I'm going to put around me, and you guys can see all the... You know, you can see the stuff you give me, and you can see I'm actually displaying it. I'm not just throwing it in a bag somewhere. I've got so much stuff that people have sent me, I need to install shelves. So, um, this card on the inside, there's a little bit of stuff. Uh, it says, Chris, you make the Christmas season even brighter and snow much fun just being you. And once again, I got a moi, and I'm going to block the person's name out. And that's that. So, now we've got starfish. I can't believe that this was inside there and not broken. Here's the other side. Check it out. These are very fragile. If you've ever snapped one, you know how easy they break. And I cannot believe every one of them is intact. This is fucking amazing. And sorry, I'm swearing. I, I you know, I'm try for an, for for just for the for shits and giggles. I did set my YouTube. Uh, to for monetization to make money I wanted to see how much I made I made 48 cents in three weeks how you do I'm doing pretty good um, so I thought maybe I'll add you know a couple more videos instead of just Facebooking them or whatever I'd add these and everybody can see what else you know whatever else I get sent um, so check these out they none of them are broken. I cannot believe I would never send these in the mail just because I would be afraid, but that's awesome. Check that out. It's cool. I don't think I would ever take a starfish though and kill it and dry it. These are adorable. There's six of them. Check none of them. Not one little arm is busted. You know me in my house, I'm going to put these up high until I can display them, but this would be awesome on a shelf on the side. I have a bunch of crap like my my haunted doll hanging up there or a spider. There's my, uh, there is my fluff a nutter, my dangling fluff a nutter, my dangling donut from Entenmann's. I was going to dangle an eclair and then I thought I'm going to take my food down. There's my dream catchers. Um, everything basically... I'm hanging up things people send me for the most part, and things I like. But these would look amazing on a little uh, shelf behind me. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. These are frigging amazing and awesome. So I'm psyched that um, you guys to see get to see a little bit of the stuff that we have on the seashores. She lives in Maine, and I'm in New Hampshire. The only the town uh, so south of her. Our town borders, our uh, states border each other, New Hampshire and Maine. So it's not very far that it had to travel, but I'm amazed that it traveled because I had sent out uh, a round of 
pearls, and they did not all arrive intact. And um, uh, the ones that didn't arrive, um, I'm going to attack them on the next pearl party. We've got, I don't know, we've got 38, uh, got to be more than that. Yeah, we, I, I guess we've got 38 people so far at the Pearl Party, and I know I need to do a list of the Pearl Party. What I think I'm going to do is do a separate group for everybody that's in the Pearl Party, and then on that day, uh, anybody that's there that I have the Pearl Party, we can pick your pearl and do it all that way. And it's going to be after Christmas. I've got more to order. Christmas came, so I kind of put everything off hold, but I'm still going to have it. Um, it's just when having it, having it and how are we going to do it to kind of coordinate. I might do a pearl party one day, and if you don't make it that day, I'll do like a rain check pearl party for the ones that didn't make it. So if you're in a group and, you know, I, I might add just the people in the group for the pearl party because it, if I go live on my page, other people will be saying hi, 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 and I really can't focus on the pearl party. So and people are going to watch it and go, what's going on? Because people end up stumbling upon my videos on Facebook when I'm live, and they're like, what's going on here? And one day I did the ghost box, and people keep messaging me, you know, do more ghost box, do this, do that. I just... um I really don't go live much anymore. I, I just, uh, I haven't gone live lately because people have shared it in groups. And there are some hate groups about Maria. They act like they're, 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 they're you know, fans or whatever. They're not fans. They're basically bully groups. They're not, you know, they say this group is for, for you know, people that want to make, you know, basically the, the groups make fun of Maria for the most part. Now, I'm not, I don't agree with it. I just don't agree with it. I, be, I believe it's childish, those groups, and they yet they still constantly find something to talk about. And I really don't want to be part of any of the groups or be talked about. I'm a human, and I've got feelings, and, you know, um, I don't know. All I got to say to you is... Uh, the girl that sent me these, thank you. They are amazing, and I'm going to put them on a shelf, and I, I really can't believe that none of them broke. I mean, if I would break one and show you how easy it is, but it's just like um, it's just like taking a saltine and going like this and breaking a saltine. That's what it's like, or a graham crack or something like that. They're very, they're very fragile, so it's amazing that they came. I'm psyched, but I haven't gone live because people in my Facebook, on my Facebook page, Chris Rage, they share my video while I'm live to the bad groups. And until I can stop people from doing that and stop that from happening, I really don't want to go live. So I might just, you know, go live on YouTube or make YouTube videos. But for Facebook and them sharing them, I don't like it. So that's that. So, you know, it's funny that they people will find something to make fun of no matter what, whether it's Maria's Bells or her gumball machine, or, you know, it, it, people make fun, and it's really stupid and childish, and what it is is cyberbullying, and, you know, um, I test the beta version, it's called Katana for Facebook, and I constantly um, message Facebook about these rotten groups, and they have yet to do anything about the bullying, and part of it, you know, I don't go live on Facebook anymore, is because I get shared to the bad bullying groups, so if you guys can find a way that I can't get shared on Facebook, I will. But until I can find how to not allow the sharing feature, I'm not going to go live very much. I might do it now and then, but it sets me up to be picked on. And I don't need to be picked. I don't want to be picked on. I don't deserve to be picked on. I'm a person like everybody. We've got all, we've all got faults and failures. I'm a human. And for somebody to take something about me and make fun of it, um, it, you know, you might think that it's funny, but if it hurts somebody's feelings, then why would you do that? I always try to think before I do something, is it going to make somebody cry or hurt their feelings or take, or them have it taken the wrong way? And, and, you know, I always think, I try to think sometimes I don't have a filter, but a lot of times before I say something, I know that might hurt somebody in the slightest, I might take 24 hours and reflect on it, then come back and maybe reword it or say it a different way. Cheers, ladies. I just want to say that um, thank you for the girl that sent me the lovely, lovely starfish. And 
Um, yeah, I might just go live on YouTube. I need to find out how to have the Pearl Party. Um, there is, a, I, think it, I think it's called You Now. It's another way to be live. It's like YouTube. And I think it might link up somehow, but I, I can't get any more apps on my phone, so I haven't gotten that. I've seen it work. I've seen uh, Uppercase Chase live, and I know it works. But I, I, I really haven't, you know, figured it I'm, I'm going to try to figure out this YouTube thing a little more and do the Facebook less because Facebook is where most of the haters are. And, and I know I will get some thumbs down on my videos and, you know, and some people now and then they throw in a little hatred, uh, you know, a mean thing or a rotten question or something. And I, you know, I, I, tr I tend to be like Maria and I will ignore it and I won't say anything and I won't report it because if you report too many things on one video, it gets flagged. I've already got a strike, so I don't need any more. Um, but yeah, I might tend to be more now on YouTube. Not because I can make fucking 30 cents um, in a month or whatever. 48 cents in three weeks. But because of the fact that there isn't this, the sharing so quickly as it is on uh, Facebook... And because Facebook is where the groups are, the bad groups, and it's like immediately they see me on there and they share it, and then they go off in their groups and they chat and they, so I don't want, I don't want, you know, I don't need, I don't, nobody wants haters. And what really bothers me is because I've stuck up for Maria, those people now, you know, basically ganged up on me and I, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't need it. It's not nice. It's not fun. Um... And hopefully, little by little, the haters go away. But, um, I don't know. I've stuck up for... I always stick up for the person that's, you know, um, the, the small person. The, the little guy. I always try to root for the, the underdog. And, uh, whatever. So, thank you once again for these. These are fucking amazing. And, um, and yeah, I'm worried. You know, I know you guys keep asking me, a few of you randomly, I want to send you something from here for here. And I'm worried about sending my address. Um, I'm very, very worried. So people that I have sent pearls to do have my return address just in case it gets stuck in the machine and it comes back to me or some, I don't know, something. I've got, by the way, I've got, uh, I think I believe I've got six more pearls to get out. Um, let me show you the names. I'll do this really quick. You guys need to message me um, on my page, Chris Rage, and give me your address. Let me do this really, really, really quick. As quick as I can with my slackerness. Find them. Hold up. Where are they? I just had them. Here they are. All right. I've got, I've already got your address, Sherry. I need to know your addresses. So mail me Lisa Ellis. Your pearl is ready to go. Um, let's see. These are some extra pearls that I've got. We're going to put it towards the next pearl party. If you get a color you don't like, you're able to switch. So we're going to be switching. And uh, Diane Duncan Connor, if you guys see this, please message me. I've got one of my friends locally that's got, she's got a uh, skull. Let's see. Uh, Wendy Shipley. Remember you wanted uh, the 22-year-old daughter. you got a nice monkey, and it's a blue one. Here we go, Wendy, I need your address. Melissa Bretain, um, you've got a skull with, what do you have in it? Oh, it's down the, You got, I think you've got a black one. It looks silver, it looks like gunmetal. Let me, let me, there you go, there's yours. So, Melissa Bretain, you're, it's, it's small, so your skull looks like there's nothing in it, but it's actually down in the mouth part. And, uh, and I got another friend that's local, and who else is this? Oh, I got another friend. Uh, there's her. She got a dragonfly. She got a heart, and she got a monkey. Let me try to show you some of these. Here is, oh, I got to keep this under 20 minutes, I believe. There's a monkey, and there is a heart right there. And, yeah, so, um, the people that I mentioned, please message me if you see this and give me your address, and I will get those out to you as soon as possible. Um, I hope you guys... If, you know, I will make. I, I hopefully I'll make more videos before Christmas. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, and I'm sorry that I'm not on Facebook much. Uh, there is a reason, and I don't know how to keep the haters from sharing my videos. I know they're probably going to take this on YouTube and share it, but um, yeah, I don't know. If they share it, then I'll make some money. Then I'll make you know five cents, you know, in a month. I don't know. Bye, guys.